Okay, so at this idea where I've seen online people are converting their old Game Boy Advance to emulator using the Raspberry Pi electronics, computer Raspberry Pi chip. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to put this in here. We're gonna open this up. That's the plan. Here, already I've removed the case. I uh, remove all the buttons and the items that I'll be doing is uh, first putting the screen. This is a 3.5 TFT screen. It's a little bit too big for this case. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have to modify it so it fits. I'm gonna use the Dremel to possibly remove some of this excess here and yeah, we'll go from there. So here we dremeled out the casing. My 3.5 screen now, as you can see, fits snugly in. Unfortunately, I believe I might have removed too much because there is, you know, I took too much material down here and I think I need to fix that. All right, so next step that I'm gonna be doing is removing button pads. And here I drew a line of where I would like to cut it because we can't really have all this in here. It's too big for the battery, a screen, and a screen PCB and so we're gonna remove only the things that we want to keep the speaker probably Dremel this out as well we just want it flat okay so I went ahead and cut the parts of the PCB of Game Boy Advance and just took out the pieces I needed so this one is up and down left right controls um, A and B and this is a small PCB that I got from a broken toy and it's it should be all that we needed for control also i have drilled out the back casing so let's put this aside remove the battery part section i probably will clean this up a bit more the final product i also removed uh, more of the front casing there was a few pegs here i removed that and these buttons will go would be something like this hopefully there will be enough space all right, so here I've gone along and required the corresponding PCB and the input pads with wire. It leads a fairly tedious process. And I've also set up my makeshift X and Y buttons with a little bit of glue. Gun. And as you can see, the right trigger over here with the input signal and ground. And the next would be to slowly connect the corresponding pin with the input signal to the retro pi zero as well as figuring out the screen so i think now i'll be needing to set up the retro pi i'm still waiting for my power supply circuit board it would charge the hypo battery i'm thinking of using this battery it's an old battery for my samsung galaxy s3 all right so here i wired it up temporarily using breadboard as you can see here i connected the audio it looks like a mess right now but i'm gonna load up the retro pi connect a screen a monitor to this and see if all this thing works so right now this is the pcb of the monitor it will need currently a volt power supply but we can change this to 5 volts because actually what it does anyway is this chip converts the 12 volts to 5 volts so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna connect our, our lead wire from here and we're just gonna do like a, a bypass everything and it's just gonna this chip actually inputs 12 volts and outputs 5 volts so we're just gonna bypass the output lead connect the 5 volt directly from there and uh, connect ground and that power source will come from 5 volts battery regulated and uh, connect the ground as well it's gonna be a challenge because of how small it is to be able to do it so as you can see I uh, was able to solder it and it was very small it was a delicate process but I just made these two wire usually different colors but I just it designated the, you know, this black taped wire as ground and supposedly this would be the bypassed power for this board okay so i went ahead and painted the case of the game boy advance trying to make it extra present <music>
section here is the audio um, this is the 3 watts audio amplifier and right here is the low pass audio filter okay so here I place the DC voltage regulator battery protection board I've soldered the power positive and negative and here I placed a USB to salvage it because this is gonna experience a lot of wear and tear we're gonna put a lot of glue to keep it secure so next I, I place this this is the controller board for the LCD and just to separate the battery from the controller board I just placed it on the uh, cardboard and what I want to do is really I don't want to just paste it onto the battery I wanted it to be able to maybe see underneath so I had this idea of just like flip mechanism so I also put a switch here so what I did was install all the wires for the controls put it into the tin C board along with the left side I also yeah installed the tin C I just put it on top and and just wired the, the connection from the bottom of the tin C. See here, just connected through data ports on the bottom.